here with the Curbsiders. We have a special recording for you today live from ACP with Dr. Ted Parks uh, to help you learn how to do an office hip exam very quick and easy. We have our wonderful model, Dr. Stuart Brigham, here with us as well. Dr. Parks. Thank you, Molly. So uh, this is sort of a patient, how a patient looks when I walk into an exam room. They're sitting on the exam table with their legs hanging down like that. We want to accomplish two things today. We want to check for range of motion, which we do with a test called the windshield wiper test. And then we'll check for greater trochanteric bursitis by checking for greater trochanteric tenderness. And really, that's, uh, those are the two most meaningful things that you're going to do in your exam. If you want to really streamline your exam, just do those two things. So let's do it. So the first thing we're going to do is going to check hip range of motion, which we do by having the hip in the flex position as it is when you're sitting on the table. I'm going to use the segment from the knee to the ankle as a joystick and I'm going to apply internal external rotation motion. Uh, you have to tell patients that you know it looks like you're checking the knee, but you're actually checking the hip by moving the ball and socket inside the hip joint. And I'm going to compare that to the other side. And a positive uh, result on this exam is that the motion creates pain and is also stiff. So let's say that it's this side that bothers him. Uh, on the control side, he's got a big pain-free range of motion. And on the affected side, in a positive test, it'll move less and hurt him more. So it's, it's, and it should be a really profound difference from side to side. Uh, the next thing we'll do is we'll check for greater trochanteric tenderness. I'll have him lie with his sore side up on the table in the lateral position. And then I'm going to find and press on the greater trochander. The tra greater trochander is easy to find. It's the most prominent bony prominence on the side of the hip here, where the bone comes very close to the skin, even on heavy patients. So if you poke around and feel where that, that firmness, that bone is close to the skin, that's the greater trochander. We'll press firmly down. And then I'll have them flip, and we'll check the other side. We have to check the other side as a control because some patients are tender to greater trochanteric palpation just naturally on both sides. So I'll press there. And a positive for this test would be more pain on the affected side than the unaffected side. And that's it. That's the hip exam. Thank you, Ted. That was very quick and easy. And we last year got the 30 second knee exam, and this year we got the 8 second hip exam. So I think you should all be able to take that back to your practice. Yep. And if you have other questions, uh, this book. Uh, which I wrote in conjunction with the ACP and McGraw-Hill has a lot of uh, similar pearls about different parts of the musculoskeletal exam and just taking care of orthopedic patients in general as a primary care provider. A lot of very practical knowledge in there. And if you haven't already listened, take a listen to our podcast, The Curbsiders, uh, and our hip exam will come out shortly.